Thank you for joining us. My name is Jay Clifford, a developer advocate for Influx Data. I'm joined by Evan Kaplan, our CEO. Thanks for joining us once again, Evan. It's been fantastic doing these fireside chats with you. Hi, Jay. Great to be here. So I think we have some really exciting news on the horizon. Um, I believe you've been out doing a little project with um, AWS. Um, could you explain a little bit about what this AWS project is and our new partnership? Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with you. It's interesting. Yeah. Um, so the the basics of the partnership are, are really straightforward, but the implications aren't as straightforward. So um, AWS will host our open source, um, right. and so they will run it um, for folks, and so they'll be able to spin it up right in AWS and and pay them for consumption based orientation around that. And we will add um, some plugins to add it, to bring it up to commercial par in, in some cases on 1.0, 2.0, and, and eventually the 3.0 open source when it ships. So that's the nature of the relationship. The importance of the relationship is a couple of things. One is um, lots of our folks today already download um, the open source and run it in AWS anyway. So it's a chance for them to have commercial support in an area that they wouldn't. Um, two is it represents uh, an alternative distribution method for us. While we sell through Marketplace, this is what AWS refers to as a 1P project, which is their own. Um, and as far as I know, they haven't done this with any other database vendor. So we're breaking really new ground here. Um, AWS and open source has been a loaded topic for years. And so this idea that we could work collaboratively on offering our open source on their platform, being able to monetize that over time, I think for them, it allows them to get these critical time series, smart system, AI workloads increasingly on AWS. And for us, it allows an alternative distribution. If I could be allowed to even conjecture even further, I think there's a very likely chance that lots of open source projects, I think we're the first, Lots of open source projects over time engage in this kind of dynamic in which the cloud, the cloud hosters, the CSPs, um, become a very common way for people to distribute their open source products um, because people have to run them somewhere. And so there's a natural synergy there. So I think both we're pioneering something new with AWS. We're super excited about it. I know they are too. Um, so, you know, we'll see how the next year, the next year goes along. We have a lot of development work and, and, um, and foundational partnership work to do, but I'm excited about it. I love that. That's actually really exciting to hear that we're doing this partnership with AWS. So talking about this, we have InfluxDB serverless. We're going to have this offering with 2.x or 3.x eventually within, we're hosted via AWS. Um, can you sort of explain the the difference or the relationship there? Where, where do, should developers start? Should they be testing their workloads on serverless and moving over to AWS or or vice versa? So the um, so the AWS service is basically a single tenant service. Mm -hmm. It's not a it's not a serverless platform, um, so it's not shared tenancy. So in general, and it also doesn't have all of the features of our existing cloud serverless platform which we keep commercializing and doing that, which is a priority for us. And so they end up being somewhat different products with somewhat different um, billing dynamics and some somewhat different utilization. Um, the, the serverless product is a much more full-featured product, I'd argue. Gotcha. At so least today. Yeah. So it's basically in, in this way with serverless, we have the ability to keep rolling out 3.0 features that are coming, whereas someone might go to, say, the AWS uh, product if they need to be on a, a single server operation, be on their own tenancy, um, and use those features yes. that are there. And, and time-wise, um, our new serverless customers already have the benefit of the 3.0 engine. And it'll take a little while for us to get the 3.0 into the Amazon, into the Amazon um, offering. Fantastic. And so to wrap it all out then, what are you most excited about with this partnership? Is it, is it the pioneering part? What's, what do you see coming that's really exciting about this collaboration? So, so listen, today we're, you know, we're definitely the most popular open source time series database, it's the most popular time series database, yeah. not just open source. So that's great. We view time series as being an increasingly larger part of the database world. That not just as the database world grows, the percentage they're actually deploying time series databases also grows. 
So for us, there are, today there are roughly a million open source users today who run our stuff every single day. With AWS's help and that expansion, we'll see more and more of that. That's what we hope to get out of it. I think with AWS, you know, you probably should interview them. I think what they hope to do it is they want more workloads to run on their platform. They want these critical workloads because they have other third-party services, you know, whether it's Kinesis or Lambda or other services that they can sell around this data or sophisticated AI models. I think it's, I actually think it's a smart turn. I love that. It's, and, and it allows us to sort of evolve and integrate more with AWS services, um, which is which is a brilliant way forward for us. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Evan. This is really exciting news to hear. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes for us. Um, so thank you for joining us once again. It's great. Yeah. It's great to be here, Jay. Anytime. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really hope you're excited about the news. This is Influx Data. Please tell us what you're building with InfluxDB.